and welcome to the Book Over, a little book club where we talk about books, especially the ones that give us book hangovers. I'm Sarah, and with me is Megan. Hey, everybody. Okay, today we're talking about, it's actually an audiobook, kind of, well, it's a combo thing. Okay, it's, it's a, a podcast. Not, it's a podcast, audio-ish, bookish thing, Malibu Royals. Um, what is it labeled as it's by? <laughs> that's the thing it says that it's adapted from the the aaron watts book which is a pen name for l kennedy and somebody else i just found out about the pen name thing so this is like yeah. this this kind of blew my mind that aaron watts but it's adapted from aaron watts's paper princess yes which so paper I, princess I, is a book that a megan writer. recommended to me I have, I yes. I haven't read it because it wasn't a KU book. And I was like, I have it in a samples on my Kindle. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, this when you get around to reading. <laughs> so I saw this coming in the newsletter and I sent it to Megan. And I'm like, Megan. <laughs> and I'm like, this is amazing because I love, first of all, I love audiobooks and the fact that it's not, it's not like one narrator reading it. It's like, it's a kind of, I would compare it to like a TV show without the picture. It's like a, it's a full, um, uh, like adapted, like kind of a graphic audio. It's got, you know, it's got sound effects. It's got music. It like, it has a different voice for every, yeah, full cast. So it's basically like, it's a full production. It feels Um, old time radio. Have you ever listened to like the old, old radio shows, like before TV where it was like a big thing? Like, I feel like Mm -hmm. what it is, but you know, like for now <laughs> yeah so it, it's very it's very it's, it's very neat it does feel very it's very episodic because it it, it is like a it, it's cut up into episodes that are releasing every monday and i think they came out with like three at first and they're probably at like four or five now yeah i think so, i just listened to mm-hmm. five like it's something x step no step x mm. how far have you like listened- I didn't listen to the one that just came out on okay. um, Monday. I, I didn't get a chance yet. Five. So five is the okay. Class. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm up to four. Okay. 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 <laughs> I know. I meant to. I was gonna. I was gonna listen to it no, in the car, like, and then I didn't get a chance. These are shorter. I like that they're like twenty to thirty minute episodes. Good for car rides. They're great for car rides. Or for me, I listen when I'm folding laundry by myself. I yep. Upstairs, so I can fold my laundry. The kids aren't near me. I can listen to it perfect yeah I agree with that it's a good like weekly thing for when you're doing a task Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because and you don't have to like pay as much well you can if you can pay it's not a full book where you're like oh I have to stop I have to stop oh no it's kind of the perfect amount for for that yeah yeah I'm really enjoying the story I'm really curious on how it compares to Paper Princess because I can I could sense things might be adapted to the times or changed up um because of like the production of it all. Um and I'm I'm curious on how long this is going to be, like how long the season's gonna be, if it's just gonna keep yeah. going or if it's gonna follow the book. I don't know how close it's following the book. Um but it, it, it starts out following it pretty well but different definitely like you said adapted for the times like um and it had a very I would say like CW-ish kind of like um like teenage wording like she's using um like buzzwords like I I, I don't even know if lit is a buzzword anymore um but that's the only one that's coming to mind where she's like you know she's she's speaking very Gen Z mm-hmm. And um, it's she's a like a cam girl, and in the book she's a stripper. So it's like it's okay. it, it's it's adapting it to the times for sure, and definitely the lingo. The lingo is definitely very hip, okay, compared to what was in the book. Um, so it's the same thing where like she kind of gets whisked away by the father's best friend, mm-hmm. uh, after the fact, and gets moved in with the brothers. But it's a little more enemies at first. Like, um, first of all, there's five brothers in the book, five, and in Rural's and Malibu, there's two. So we lost three brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, are they going to be like, are they going to like bring these characters in as friends? Like what's yeah. going, you know, and they've made it more like a love triangle. Cause I've seen like promos and they're like kind of, and there's a little bit of a love triangle aspect that you like know who the main guy is in the book. I mean, 
I was saying to Sarah, it's a good, I always thought good RH setup. Right, right. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, this could be an RH, this could be a menage, but it's not. (laughs) And and here I am, like, I'm listening to the thing and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out right now who, because there's Reed and Easton are the stepbrothers. And I really, who do you think the the book would be? Oh, yeah. The dad's great. Yeah. It's going to be the main love interest because like, Reed's just already just really flirty so he kind of gives me those like fallen crest vibes you know like the brother that oh, like mm-hmm. flirty like and Logan like, versus... love each other but it's more brother and sister lovey than really um wait or even so the like, flirty uh, he's flirty so you're saying who's Reed's... are you saying Easton's flirty wait are you confusing I, Easton and Reed I might be I might be confusing them I might be, I think one, you're confused. be flirty and then one's really standoffish and, and kind of like Hot Easton's head. the Easton's the flirty one, and Reed's the one who was like in the pool covered in blood when they first met. Okay, so I think she's yeah. gonna end up with no. I think she's gonna end up with the one covered. Wait, Easton's the one that was what? Reed was the one covered in blood. Easton's okay. the one who like likes to do a little drug, likes to like like is the flirty one. Hmm. I think she was gonna be with the first one she met. That's Reed. Reed. Really? Why did mm-hmm. I think Reed was the flirty one? Maybe who do you you know, prop? Well, do you know? <laughs> I know. Unless they change it, they might change it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't that know. That would be something. They might change it. I well, do know, but the last episode. So something happens in the last the current last episode. Do you think episode. it's Easton? Because okay. And <sighs> <laughs> you can you can say it we can be because who it is so like something happens with a pool and they kind of like help her out and then later they're back in the room and there's something like and then somebody walks in and then it's like this whole thing so i can't feel like there's something like that in the book i feel like go to either brother at this point but i think the one that's Mm -hmm. more standoffish is the one that she's really going to end up with it's always the standoffish one, it seems like. It's like never the, the except in Dawson's Creek, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Dawson's Creek, it's the, pay, you know, pacing, you know, pace. That was the perfect thing, though, because that yeah. was what it needed to be. I was so happy, so happy. Yeah. My little teenage heart was so happy when it was Pacey on that episode. Ugh, I think I was we all were. When they broke up, like, you know, how oh. Dawson oh, so was good. so whiny. I rewatched it at one me. point. I used to love Dawson, and then I rewatched it an older twenties. Mm-hmm. Like I think I rewatched it, and I was like, "Dude, stop!" Yep, it's so funny how Jinx. like teenage me loved him, and then the older mm-hmm. I was like, Mm-mm. "That's how I was with Felicity too." And the love interest I switched to, I liked <laughs> when I rewatched. <laughs> but I always liked Casey though. But I Dawson, like yeah, you know, no one realized how whiny he was until you like <laughs> binge watch. And even yeah. James Vanderbeek will say it. He'll he's like one of the first people that yeah he will anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I love that that it's really entertaining because it is like listening to a TV show and like it's it totally teen drama. But then like sometimes so, and there's mm-hmm. no sexual content. There's nothing major yet, but it's yeah. just like it's like made for young adults. Well, mm-hmm. you don't have to be a young adult. You can be an older adult, and it's. Yeah. Just, really entertaining so i love that it is he took this book and took the time to do this and i love that it is different because it's like if you love something and you get to have like an alternative version of it it's kind of awesome because it, it's still you still have the book the book's not going away this is just something that's different it's been adapted i guess it's like it got made into a tv show or a movie but it's kind of better because you still get what people fear when things get adapted is you're going to lose so much content, but you're still able to get it. So it's kind of like the best case scenario for a book fan. If you think about it, to have it adapted for it's instead of just the audiobook, adapted like a TV show, mm-hmm. but they change the plot. So it's, you get the same plot, but completely new and a little bit updated for the time. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. So it's yeah, very I'm cool. always scared of like movies and stuff because I'm like, yeah, are you gonna, what are you going to leave out and what are you going to change? Yeah. And I will say, I think the, the, um, the stepmom is a little different in this. She's a little different and she's again, a little more of the times I think. So 
So that's interesting. Like the girlfriend, Callum's girlfriend. Oh, the girlfriend. Yes, yes. I like yeah. the girlfriend. The the evil stepmom is evil, and we do not like her. <laughs> we meet her in the, in episode five. Oh, you do. Okay, yeah, that's what. Yes, because there is a stepmom in the 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 mom you know that was married to the, me of? the father. We just talked who? about obvious lies. She reminds me. Oh, of Victoria. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's so good because it's like, it's like, let's take kind of like the, the OC or something. And because it, it like didn't take place in Malibu before. So you're kind of putting it in this like OC uh, setting. And instead of it being like the guy being pu pushed into the world, it's the girl being pushed into the world. It's the Cinderella thing. Her name's Ella. Mm -hmm. So you've kind of got, you know, a little bit like, let's take the OC, let's take Paper Princess, like, let's make it this thing. I, I just, I'm enjoying it. It's very cool. It's very cool. It is. And, um, uh, I think it's it's very cool to have in a, this like podcast format and to compare. So yeah, uh, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I really want. I looked. I searched to try and to find out how many episodes there were going to be, and that is not available out there. So I'm okay with that as long as they they do the whole book. Is it a series or is it just a standalone? So it's a tr so it's there's five books. It's a trilogy, and then a character who is not who isn't the main MC gets his own series. It's a duet. Okay. So that'll be interesting to see, like, will that come into play? Will like the duet love interest come about? Like, how is that going to unfold? Um, especially with it being a trilogy. You so, know. I mean, I mean, like I said, I'm enjoying it. Like they have, you know, they have like the, 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 you know, the girls that are like kind of mean to her and bullying her, um, the best friends the you know and then the two guys that are intriguing I like like you said the funny eastern character and then the you know the brooding reed mm -hmm. very and then she's adapting to the life very well in this like you know she's kind of like yeah kind why of. would I turn down kind of but yeah, yeah kind of like would why would I turn down you need it I love that she's mm -hmm. out and got a job like she's yeah like, I love it where she's like I you work that's what you do I love that kind of stuff me too yeah, it's really entertaining. I, I'm I'm it's, happy that I saw that. <laughs> me, I'm ecstatic you saw it. I'm ecstatic. Yeah. And then um, we'll have to get you to uh, re read Paper Princess and compare. A bit. Yeah. It's like, is the question is, should you do it before or after the podcast? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm thinking that I'll listen for like a few more months and then maybe... Mm -hmm switch and compare and then I'm wondering yeah. which one I'll like more I don't know I know that that it's going to be interesting I'm I want to I'm trying not to reread because I want this to be such a new fresh experience but like I every time I listen I want to go reread I know I so know I'm like, so having doing, I'm like gosh I should just get this book <laughs> no, right. like, no but no, it no, is no. different enough like there are completely different characters that were not in the book or characters like I said, like there's some brothers missing. <laughs> so it's definitely different. Okay. I'm still wondering if they're going to pull up like a, like a third brother out somewhere. So there's this one third brother who I thought had some, uh, some pivotal stuff, but so I'm like, could they pull this care? Like, I'm like, could they have a third brother? Right. And they just don't talk about him. <laughs> like, off at, like, off off call. Call. Yeah. He was older. Cause the one I'm thinking of was older. He was older. And like, he wasn't as around. So I'm like, who knows? Maybe they'll pull another brother out. Maybe. Interesting. Good. That, that prediction there. <laughs> you know what? Out. And I have to say what I really appreciate about this one is that it is free and you can listen to it. Yes. Like I listen to mm -hmm. it on Spotify and I think you could do on Apple and somewhere else. Yeah. So I like that it's free. I mean, there is a commercial break and it's the same. Hello, fresh commercial each time, but it's like, it's fine because I take that moment to do something that I, I can't really fully be listening. So I'll take the mm -hmm. moment. Oh, do you get a different commercial? I get the same. I'm thinking, do I get a commercial? Do you get this murder one for like a yes. murder book? Yeah, like okay, the two. okay, okay. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Yeah. But okay. you know, I'm like, I'll deal with a quick commercial break for it to be free. Yeah. And then I do just take that moment to, you know, write something down, like something where you can't fully listen, mm -hmm. and, you know, multitask at the same time. And then I'll go back to what I was doing. So it, it works. It totally works. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, it does work. It just feels like you're what, like a weekly TV show. And then you just have one ad. 
because like you didn't pay for the service without the ad. Yeah. It's like it's like yeah. when you do that. Like yeah. there's always that one streamer where you're like you're like eh, I don't use this streaming service enough to actually pay for the yeah. the the non ad free. So yeah. Just like that. Yeah. 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 So it's like it's doable. <laughs> it's perfect. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Well, thanks well, everyone. Well, well, and yeah, enjoys it and and yeah. chat with us about it in the Facebook group. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.